Hello everyone and welcome to the Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial series using the Sunfounder Kepler kit. Check the link in the description if you want to buy a kit of your own. In this tutorial we are going to look at this tilt switch and how to use it with the Raspberry Pi Pico. To follow along with the tutorial you will need the following components. The Raspberry Pi Pico, a breadboard, tilt switch and four wires. Build your circuit as shown in this diagram. Inside the tilt sensor there are two small metal balls. When the sensor is upright the ball sits on the position that connects it to metal contacts allowing electricity to flow through. If you tilt the sensor beyond a certain angle the ball rolls away from these contacts. This then breaks the connection and stops the flow of electricity. So these balls inside here just act like a switch which will open or close the circuit. So let's go to my website and go look at some demo code. On the website in tutorial 5 you will have the tilt switch. Go click on code and click here copy. And in Infony create a new file and paste that code. So let's run this code and see what happens. So the code is now running and the switch is in an upward position so it will not trigger the input. And then as soon as I tilt this then it should say the switch works. And it will sleep for one second and then check again. So if I keep this like this, then every second it will say the switch works. And looking at the code, it is very basic. We import the pen class from machine and also import the time library. So here we set our tilt switch according to our schematic diagram, which is on pen 15. We make it a pen input and we also pull this pen down to ground. Now here in a while through, if our tilt switch value is equal to zero, we'll print out the switch work. So at this moment, when our switch is connected, it will always be one because of the circuit diagram that the one side of the pen is connected to 3.3 volt. So as soon as we tilt it and we break it, it will pull it down to ground and then it will have a value of zero and then it will print the switch works. And then there will be a short delay for one second before it checks the status again. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I will see you in the next video.